so first it is given that a triangular prism 50 mm sides below xy line so first draw a triangle like this below xy line the side length is given as 50 mm and draw this triangle in such a way that its one axis or base is parallel to xy line and side length is 50 mm <coughs> this is the front view to draw its to its top view let we take projection from this end from here to here from this bottom face to here this is a triangular prism so in front view it would appear as a rectangle like this and here x y line would be there which represents intersection of both the planes hp and vp like this and here we draw a meter line to take projection from this top view and transfer to the side view. now from here we have to take projection from this end like this and projection from this corner like from here to here and it will cut meter line somewhere here vertical line from here vertical line from here and in side view this triangular prism would appear like this as a rectangle so this is the three views these are the three views of triangular prism side length 50 mm now it is given that another triangular prism which is at a distance uh, which is 35 mm and length is 80 mm penetrates through this solid so let me draw that solid as well having 35 mm side length so it would be somewhere here 35 mm is the side length of this triangular prism in this prism also two sides are uh, one side is parallel to hp mm, that means this is this one and it is away from observer so this is the side view from side view we can draw it stop view by taking projection from here to here and length is given to us so according to given length that is 80 mm here dotted line would be there because it is not visible it is inside the standing solid here overlapping of the line would be there and this shows the top view of this solid triangular prism and this shows the front view of this triangular prism we can take projection from top view and from side view as well like this so just we have drawn three views of given condition now find out the points of intersection so for that we employ our analogy from here how to employ that analogy so for that let we draw any one line over here say this line right now think about this point this point so find out position of this point so for that say it is point number 1 so from this point number 1 from this point number 1 draw straight vertical line it will cut meter line somewhere here from that draw straight horizontal line it will cut this red color triangle at two points one point is here another point is here so this is the position of point number 1 in top view one this one and this one then from this point draw a vertical line means take projection from point number 1 take projection from this point as well right we have drawn taken projections from both these points now after that from this point number 1 draw straight horizontal line so we can pick up the points one point would be here another point is here that is points of intersection for this given solid right now what's about this point this point is here so from here draw straight vertical line horizontal line it will cut this red colored triangle at this point at this point 
from here draw straight vertical line and from here also draw straight vertical line right and horizontal line from this step point number 2 horizontal line from point number 2 it will cut over here so here is the another point say this is point number p1 this is point number p2 and on this side it's a just mirror image of point number 1 mirror image of point number 2 now from if you look from this direction this 1 2 is visible to us so join p1 and p2 with the full line because it's a uh, fully visible join p1 p2 with the full line and as p1 and p2 are visible this line also would be full line this one and this line now what's about this inner edge that would be invisible so join show it with the dotted line because it's uh, inside this triangular prism so invisible similarly in the bottom side also from this end to this end it would be visible this end to this end it would be visible and this intermediate portion invisible so it's a dotted line so till now we have drawn up to this one and two now what's about this point number three so point number three is somewhere here the third corner of this triangular prism so from this point draw straight vertical line horizontal line it will cut this standing prism at two points one point is here another point is here so from this point draw straight vertical line like this and from this point draw horizontal line both will cut at this point so here is point number p3 similarly on this side point number p3 would be here here is point number p1 and here is point number p2 or it should be given dash mark p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash because it's a front view now as 1 and 3 is away from us if you look for if, we, if you look from this side 1 and 3 is away from us so p1 and p3 should be joined with the dotted line because it is not visible to us so join here with the dotted line like this and here also with the dotted line like this so this is the front view of given solid now what's about remaining portion this is the view that we have drawn here now what's about this edge one one corner it is it should be visible in the top view right if you look from this top side this one edge would be visible so here that one edge should be represented by full line up to this end full line up to this and after that it should be represented by simple dotted line because it is hidden portion so it's uh, not visible in the top view so these are the three views of given problem we should we can insert the respective dimensions let me insert one dimension just to show how to insert the dimension this is the dimension lines in which dimension to be inserted the side length is 50 mm so here 50 should be written at the middle above this arrow and we have used here aligned method of dimensioning to insert the dimension Restore dimension could be inserted as per the standards right so that is problem number two that we have solved now next problem problem number three this we have finished the data is given like this a square prism 50 mm sides and 80 mm axis resting on its base with side surface equally inclined to vp it is penetrated by a triangular prism of 35 mm sides and 100 mm length the axis of triangular prism is parallel to hp and vp the triangular face of that prism is inclined at 45 degree to hp draw projections of solids showing lines of intersection if the axis of both the solids bisect each other so first do steps for thinking let me think what's the given position the standing solid is a square prism side length 50 mm so first we have to draw a square below xy line having side length 50 mm in such a way that all faces or all sides makes equal angle with xy line that is 45 degree all sides are equally inclined to vp so sides 
makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line draw top view front view and side view by taking projection of that top view penetrating solid is a triangular prism having side length 35 mm in this problem so that we have to draw in the side view draw 35 mm sides triangular triangle in side view such that the base makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line so these are the steps now let we draw this problem in our drawing sheet so first step is this one a square is given it should be drawn below x y line in such a way that all of its sides makes an equal angle with x y line and that angle would be 45 degree because only 45 degree is the angle for equality of all the sides with x y line this is the x y line which represents intersection of both the planes hp and vp you can name the x y line like this it's a x x a y and in in side view to draw the side view of this solid we can take projection from this corner from here to here horizontal line horizontal line from this end and horizontal line from this end of course we have to draw meter line as well over here to transfer the points from this top view to side view now from here we can draw vertical line to show the edge or the side edge of this square prism this is the side view of this square prism and here now here it is given that one side of this square prism makes an angle of 45 degree with hp so we have to draw here a square prism in such a way that one base or one side makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line so it would appear like this here this base makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line that we can represent over here like this this angle is 45 degree it is given in the data right now this square prism that we have drawn and this is the front view of this square prism that would also be a rectangle like this and here at the middle straight vertical line would be there vertical line would be there which shows the corner of this square prism and this is the hexagonal base now we have drawn a square prism now think about this triangular prism so for this triangular prism in side view in front view it would just appear as a rectangle that we can draw like this by taking projection from this side view and in top view from here take projection to draw the top view of this triangular prism vertical line from this corner and vertical line from this corner transfer it over here so that we can draw its top view as well in top view it would appear up to this portion only and in this hexagon in this square prism the edges of this triangular prism will not appear hence it is to be represented by the dotted line inside this square like this here dotted line would be there from this end to this end right now about this corner this edge also would be full line up to this end full line up to this and in in medio in between this square it would be dotted line so the top view is simple in such kind of problems the difficulty is front view the, to find out the points of intersection in front view first we have to draw side view then we have to draw top view and after that by taking each point one by one 
we have to find out position of rest all the points now this row work is done find out the points of intersection for each point let me start from this point so this is point number 1 point number 1 is here so from point number 1 draw straight vertical line horizontal line and when it cuts this red colored or standing solid that is square prism over here at this point this is point number 1 right it will cut one point here another point is here from this point draw straight vertical line like this or projection line from point number 1 from this point also draw a straight vertical line projection line from here so point number 1 would be on this straight vertical line and from point number 1 this one draw a horizontal line that is projection from point number 1 like this so we have we can find out the position of point number 1 here would be point number p1 dash p1 dash right how we have found this point from this point vertical line horizontal line and this horizontal line will cut this square at one point over here one point over here from this point draw straight vertical line so this is point number p1 dash similarly here p1 dash think about this point say this is point number 2 from point number 2 draw simply horizontal line right from to draw vertical line like this it will cut this square prism at two points one point is here another point is here here is one point here is another point so from this point draw straight vertical line from this point draw straight vertical line so one point is here that is point number p2 one point is here name this this is point number p2 dash similarly point number p2 dash so we have picked up point number 2 also 1 and 2 both are towards us so they should be they would be visible so join them with a full line as they are visible points and this side just the mirror image now what's about point number 3 here is point number 3 this one it is behind this corner so point number 3 would be somewhere here so from this point take projection straight vertical line it will cut middle line over here 